Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Power Is Now. My name is Eric Frazier. It's a beautiful day in Southern California, a great day to talk about real estate. And I have an extraordinary real estate professional with us today. His name is Amir Alahi. Amir is a veteran real estate professional. Not only that, but he also is an experienced banker and housing counselor. He's been in the game for a long time. He is the owner of Amir Alahi Homes, and he is a EXP agent, working with agents nationwide to be able to sell homes just about anywhere in the world. Welcome, Amir, to the Power Is Now Real Estate Roundtable. Thank you for coming. Well, thanks for having me, Eric. It's always a pleasure to be on the Power Is Now. Um, I'm excited about uh, this real estate market and to be able to talk about this great listing that we have. Man, we are in a great market right now. What an incredible time it is to both sell real estate and buy real estate. And you have been at it for a minute. In fact, why don't we start with you sharing your uh, contact information? Because I know when people hear about this property you have for sale, somebody's going to call you. So provide your contact information, your license number, and just tell our audience just a little bit about you know, how long you've been in the game. Okay, I'd be happy to, Eric. Um, my license number is 0131350. That's 0131350. And uh, I could be reached at area code 626 625 0099. And um, it's been a long journey for me, man. I started out as a housing uh, counselor and actually. What we did um, back in the old days, we did mortgage collections. Um, and so that's where my background started. And then I got into um, to foreclosures um, and then we got into investor reporting. Um, and so I know the back end of the, the mortgage process and the real estate side of it. And then I got into first time home buyers education and worked with a series of nonprofits that uh, really kind of shaped the education side of it. And so once uh, I really kind of got the bug of seeing people succeed in home ownership, then it almost drove me into, into sales. And so I've been in sales full-time now for, this is my 12th year. I mean, I'm so happy you have this background on the mortgage side because many real estate professionals don't. And it, it can become somewhat of a a liability, really, I think, to sellers, if your agent isn't really uh, educated and are knowledgeable about the financing and, and just kind of the back end of a mortgage banking and what it takes to get a loan done. Uh, because not every offer with financing is a great offer, right? That's <laughs> and, um, and you need to fully understand what's available because many of the sellers too also become buyers, right? In fact, uh, you have a listing right now that I'm sure they're selling the property, but are they going to be buying something else? Absolutely. We've actually already identified a property and locked down the uh, financial or financing structure um, that allowed us to write a really solid offer uh, for uh, the, the seller who's now turning into a buyer. And wow. so the background is, is really uh, important. And I say all the time that, that I also love working with you know, with you on the loan side, because because I have a, a small lending background, and so you know you can appreciate uh, what we do with the lenders, with the buyers, to get them prepared. Yes, yes, it's a it's a lot of work, and um, uh, buyers uh, need to be educated, uh, a lot of hand holding and guiding, and I love doing that. And in fact, you have to be a special kind of agent, right, Amir, to work with buyers. You got to be a people person. You got to love helping people to achieve the American dream. Uh, and I think that's why a lot of agents prefer just to be listing agents. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely agree, 100%. And I think that, you know, on, on the lending side, it's really, um, you know, for you especially, I think you can appreciate only having to educate one person instead of the buyer and the agent. Um, and then on, on my side, I get a chance to kind of say, hey, here's what, you know, in this case, Eric is going to be talking about. And when he says this, then I understand what you're doing. And, um, you know, we're both that. Sometimes, you know, the process can be lengthy and sometimes it gets tedious. And so it, it's easy for me to have, be a buffer to say, okay, well, here's what they really mean when they need this. Well, here's why. 
they need this information or here's why they asked that question again. That's true. Um, and so it really helps uh, the, the, my background in home buyer education and counseling really helps me uh, help my clients. Well, Amir, I appreciate your partnership. And um, uh, I know that uh, anybody working with you, they are truly getting a professional. So folks, if you're looking for representation as a buyer, I mean, you've got to reach out to Amir. If you're looking to sell, well, I'm going to show you in a minute here what a great salesperson he is and getting your property sold. Amir, tell us about this particular market area uh, that you're um, representing the seller on and, and that what is the address? Let's get into some of the details and then talk about the market in general. Okay, well, um, the property that we're going to be looking at today, Eric, is at 2002 2nd uh, Street in the city of Bakersfield. And so Bakersfield is just about an hour north of uh, Los Angeles. And it's a beautiful tree-lined street with uh, older homes. We call them here in Southern California, we call them cottages, uh, built in 1915. Uh, it's a two-bedroom, one-bath house that has recently been uh, remodeled and upgraded. Um, it sits on a 9,147 square foot lot. So with the house being so small, it literally, the backyard literally looks like a park. I mean, you could do uh, a ton of things back there. You know, you could have birthday parties, uh, you could have weddings uh, back there. So the backyard is really kind of one of the attractive uh, things about the house. Uh, in addition to just the old world charm. So again, the quiet tree-lined street, um, you know, not a lot of hustle and bustle. Uh, certainly coming from the Los Angeles area, I was absolutely amazed at the width of the street. Um, so it literally is one of the older neighborhoods that's got really wide streets and uh, uh, lots of shade and just lots of uh, character. Now, Amir, are you describing Mayberry RFD? <laughs> I was going to say, it, it absolutely what I thought as I drove up to the property. I was like, oh my goodness. And, and it's literally um, maybe 10 minutes or so from downtown Bakersfield. And so downtown Bakersfield does have the Mayberry feel. So you actually can drive wow. up to some of the shops and they've got the uh, diagonal uh, parking Mm -hmm. uh, spaces versus, you know, the parallel like we're used to in the big cities downtown. Um, and so they've got plenty of small businesses that are, you know, waiting to get back to, to you know, a bustling economy. So it's a very, very uh, Mayberry-ish type uh, atmosphere. Now, Amir, you know we are in a housing crisis right now. There's not a lot of homes for sale. And those homes that are for sale are just overpriced. I mean, and I, and I put an asterisk around that a quotation overpriced because it's all relative. I'm not sure we're going to see any significant pricing reduction uh, for a while. But how is Bakersfield in terms of a place to live? You say it's about an hour from uh, L.A., but tell us about what's going on there economically, like unemployment and, you know, what can you share? So Bakersfield is on the cusp of central California. So it literally kind of sits between LA and Central California. And so the economy, of course, over, over the last year or so has, has taken a, a considerable hit uh, like a lot of our cities have. Um, but what they're finding as well is that, that um, again, I mentioned that they do have a lot of small businesses, but they're also uh, in less than an hour from Bakersfield, there's several, um, there's a military base that is there um, there's also a couple of uh, major employers that are in the surrounding area. So, you know, it's really, really kind of a, what we would call a sleepy town, but the economy, you know, once we get back to our full strength, I won't say get back to normal, but at least our full strength um, is a bustling economy. What you find as well is that because it's kind of in between Central California and Southern California, that there are uh, a lot of hardworking agricultural uh, employees um, and they make a good living, uh, you know, doing a lot of the agricultural things that we don't see here you know, in, in Southern California in the big city life. So Amir, uh, it really sounds like a great place to live. And uh, I actually, I wanna know more now. I wanna know about 
you know, parks and schools and, you know, uh, what are some of the amenities that are driving people to Bakersfield? Well, one of the great things is that, again, in a small town, uh, they are, they can pack their, their city with lots of uh, opportunities. So there is, of course, the uh, Mechanics Bank Arena, um, where they have lots of concerts and uh, different activities. Um, you certainly have the uh, Cal State Bakersfield University, um, which is bustling and it has roughly 15,000 students uh, that attend there. They've got on-campus housing um, as well. And the university, if you know anything about the housing crisis, you also know that education is very expensive. And so it's a very affordable university um, along with their community college. So there is a younger population that is there but what makes the younger population actually probably more apt to stay or at least think about building a future is the affordability. Mm -hmm. And so the average sales price is $257,000 for a single family home. You, that is wait, actually wait a minute, almost, stop yeah. the presses, stop the presses. <laughs> I mean, uh, Amir, we are talking about California, right? You are, this is All Bakersfield, right. California. This is not uh, Bakersfield, Ohio. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And actually that 257 is about the same as the national average for the price of a single family home. Um, so it really is affordable. Um, they actually have down payment assistance available from uh, the city of Bakersfield for first time home buyers. So that makes it more attractive um, to younger and growing families. Um, and certainly the affordability, you know, is one that we certainly hadn't experienced that low in Southern California in quite some time. Amir, you know, with down payment assistance from the city, plus down payment assistance that's available from the state agencies, uh, this is truly a no money down opportunity on already such a low price point of $270,000. That's unbelievable. Now, I mean, wow, where's the catch here? Maybe they charge to go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think what, is, what has happened is again, because it's, it's an hour, a little over an hour outside north of Los Angeles, um, we don't get the big, the big city, big ticket prices, um, but also what it allows people to do is that they're probably 45 minutes um, north of what we call North um, Los Angeles County. So Los Angeles and Kern counties, you know, are, are, are right next to each other. And so people can actually commute to Northern Los Angeles County and still have a good living uh, versus, you know, that same hour drive, you know, in the city will only take you, you know, five or 10 miles some days, depending on where you are. For those of you just joining us, we're talking to Amir Alahi, real estate agent extraordinaire. He's a VIP agent on the Powers Now platform. And as you can see, Amir knows his stuff. He's selling a house in Bakersfield, uh, a, a kind of Mayberry RFD. I mean, they've got it all there, folks. And on top of that, incredible prices. I mean, you're telling me that I could be an hour away from LA and only spend about 270 to maybe $300,000? You know, if you go the other direction, say if you're in Riverside or Ontario, you're going to spend four or $500,000 and still be an hour away. So Bakersfield seems like a great opportunity for first time home buyers. And, and especially with COVID-19, a lot of people working from home, it doesn't really matter where they live now. And so if they're looking for affordability, well, this might be the place for you. Now we're going to take a break and when we come back, Amir is going to share some pictures. He's going to get into details. This is incredible property. And if you are living in Bakersfield right now, you might want to think about selling. Even at that price, it sounds like Bakersfield also has benefited from the incredible appreciation that's taking place all over California. So this is a great time to sell if you are living in Bakersfield. And it's a great time to buy if you're looking for affordability. You're listening to The Power Is Now, Real Estate Roundtable, listing update with Amir Alahi. Hang in there, folks. We'll be right back right after this commercial break.
Many Californians fear that they will not be able to pay their rent next month. Financial education and literacy are the catalyst for relief. So what resources are out there? A State of California program connects you with a HUD-certified housing counselor who can assist you on your financial education journey with no cost to you. Call today at 1-800-569-4287. Again, that is 1-800-569-4287. And we're back. For those of you just joining us, welcome to The Power Is Now Real Estate Roundtable. I'm here with extraordinary real estate professional, Amir Alahi, veteran real estate agent, folks. And he's got a fantastic property in the beautiful city of Bakersfield, where affordability is real. I mean, I mean, very real. We're talking about $270,000. I didn't even know you could buy a house in California anywhere for $270,000, but it exists in Bakersfield. Welcome again, Amir. Thank you for taking time and sharing this great listing with our audience. Well, thanks for having me, Eric. I really appreciate this. This is a great opportunity that people don't, um, don't often know is available. And you mentioned something prior to going to break, and that is that a lot of people now are going to be um, commute or telecommuting, we should say, uh, working from home as, as we've known, come to know it during COVID. Um, I've got an interesting client who we've been talking about, but she said that she only has to go into the office once or twice a month. And the rest of the time, she's able to work from home. Um, and that was as a result of COVID. And so, um, you know, this is going to be a new normal um, for this particular client. And so someplace that like Bakersfield, which is an hour or so away, hour and a half away, then doesn't uh, seem that far-fetched now. No, no, it wouldn't to me. And uh, especially with the amount of uh, house you can get for your dollar. So Amir, let's, let's get into the details. State again, for those who might be listening uh, to our podcast, the address of this property. And then let's look at some great pictures you have. So the property that we're gonna be talking about today is 2002 2nd Street in the city of Bakersfield. Um, And as I described it before, it's a beautiful tree-lined street. Uh, We've got two bedroom, one bath, and just over 1,100 square feet uh, on a 9,100 square foot lot. Uh, Built in 1915, it has been updated Recently, it has central air and central heat, um, which you're going to need being uh, that close to central California. Um, but also, um, it is really has uh, two driveways. So it actually has RV parking um, or additional uh, parking for additional cars. Um, it's got a one car garage. And one of the most amazing things about this property is that even though it has been updated, it still has its old world charm. Well, Amir, you're doing a fantastic job in describing this property. And for those of you who are listening to our podcast, you've got to check this out. You can find it on Amir's website. And also you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the powers now or to our website, thepowersnow.com and find this listing update with Amir Alahi as he is now going to talk about uh, some of this uh, unique uh, amenities and features of this property. Take it away, Amir. Well, thanks, Eric. Again, this is a beautiful, you've heard me talk about kind of the tree-lined streets. I'm gonna just take a quick look down the street so you can see kind of the neighborhoods and how wide the streets are uh, there before we go inside. It's well manicured uh, and well-maintained. You can see the porch here. It has the old fashioned mailbox and a beautiful uh, front door. And as we go into the inside, this is the actual entrance of the property. One of the things I want you to notice is the uh, laminate hardwood floors and they are beautiful. They are beautifully done and beautifully maintained. And just to the right, as we walk in, you'll see your dining area. Um, And again, it's been beautifully maintained. You could look at the um, beautiful uh, hardwood floors and you could see that it's very bright. My client actually happens to have a a desk set up there 
with beautiful light. And then we'll go, you can see a built-in bookcase there. So it's just full of charm. And That's I really like it. it. Uh, tell me about these floors again. Those floors are laminate. They look like they're really- Yeah, they look like they're really hardwood floors and they are uh, absolutely amazing. It's a higher grade laminate um, mm -hmm. that you can actually get almost like an engineered, engineered wood. And so you can see that the bedrooms are really light. Um, each of the bedrooms has a ceiling fan. Uh, they are carpeted. Um, and so that's gonna be one bedroom there. And then as we swing around just on the other side of the bathroom, then you'll be able to take a look uh, inside bedroom number two, again, with the ceiling fan. And the bedrooms, again, aren't uh, small, like you'll see in some of the newer builds. So you can see that's a fairly full-size bed there. Um, there's a dresser and a, a small closet. Let's take a look at the uh, bathroom as well. So again, it's been updated. I love this uh, cement tile work that they've done here in the bathroom on the bathroom floor. Um, and you can see that it's got a single vanity with uh, a medicine cabinet. Uh, we have a joke that you almost have to be a certain age to know what a medicine cabinet is. Um, <laughs> That's so but, true. <laughs> but you got you can see there that there's still, you know, a room for storage there. Um, and so it really is, again, um, the word that comes to mind is charming and character um, as well. So as we go back out uh, into uh, the main floor of the house. Let's take a look. This is the living room. Uh, again, with light throughout this home, you really don't feel like you're in a small two bedroom house. And it leads to uh, a fantastic kitchen. And so as you see, you walk into the kitchen again. This uh, home has recessed lighting. Um, it also has the open cabinets there um, with a window into the backyard. Um, so you can see that the cabinets have been updated. You've got um, the granite countertops as well as a pantry. And so I'm loving uh, the door here uh, on the pantry and in the laundry area. So you've got laundry in the kitchen, which you would have had a uh, hundred years ago or 106 years ago, I should say. <laughs> uh, but I love that the pantry door is open and it is a eight panel glass door. Again, which you would have found um, right. back in the early 1900s. So just a beautiful, well-appointed kitchen. You see that enough for the full-size refrigerator. And uh, you also have storage shelves there. Um, so you've got cabinet space as well as storage. Uh, when you go through the outside here, I had talked about kind of the cement work here and also this older period style door um, that they have. You see that the, the outside has wood siding on it and it has newer windows. Um, so the house has been very well maintained. Um, it has a, a one car garage. Oh, oh, wait a minute, stop the presses. ADU. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, and what you'll see uh, in the backyard is even though you've got all of this space here. So wow. you mentioned ADU um, and that is an accessory dwelling unit that you can actually build onto. So you can actually look to take advantage of this particular unit. But as we walk further back, um, you can just see that there's plenty of space here um, in this yard to actually wow. build something if you'd like. And Here's what makes it really possible. It's completely enclosed too, yeah, right? Yeah, it's completely the enclosed. Well, yeah, here's what makes this really possible as we pop back out to the front yard. Um, and that is that it has a second driveway. And so when we go out to the front, there are actually two driveways on this property. So you see there's one here on this side and then there's one uh, on the other side of the uh, backyard. So it really does lend itself. So you as the owner can park here and have access to this garage. If you decide to build something back here, then there's a driveway that comes here where your, your potential tenants could actually uh, drive in and not disturb you at all. 
Amir, you uh, bring up tenants, potential tenants. Uh, what, what is the price point again for this property? This property is actually on the market at $239,900. Wow, $239,900. What are rents going for? I should have asked you that earlier. What, what, you know, what, if you wanted to rent down in Bakersfield, how much are you paying in rent for a house like this? So rent for a property like this will run anywhere between nine and eleven hundred dollars. Oh my goodness! So it makes it for someone that's coming from Southern California. This is not even a bad investment property. No, that's what I'm thinking. And then you have this room to convert the garage sure. into an ADU. Uh, do you know the zoning for this particular property? Well, um, if I can do it, Eric, I'm going to spin around because the property next door you'll see is already zoned for multifamily units. So the <laughs> neighbor already has units in the back of their property uh, just to the west of this property. You know, it's so difficult to find multi-unit family properties right now, right. two, three, four unit, and then they want top, top dollar for them. <laughs> I mean, so the the alternative or the workaround is to find a single family home like this that's in a uh, two to three or four four unit uh, zoning that has a you know multifamily zoning, and so you are able to build. And even if you don't have multifamily uh, zoning, uh, every city will allow uh, a ADU to be built or to convert a garage uh, into an ADU and then add another garage if you need that if you want to have that right. So exactly. uh, Bakersfield is no different. Yeah, that's a state mandate that came down last year. So um, right. we're encouraging people to take to take full advantage of it. Um, and the financing is now starting to, to come around to reflect what the new law for accessory dwelling units um, is now in Southern California. Now, so, are we looking at uh, granite or uh, what type of countertop yeah, are we looking at? So here? these are granite countertops here. Um, and you can see that even the cabinets have been updated. Um, they've got beautiful knobs. And so it really, they did a great job. The owner of the home did a great job of keeping, you know, again, the eight door panel, glass panel door for the pantry, uh, but also making sure that, you know, it was upgraded with some of the modern touches. So it does have a dishwasher, garbage disposal, um, and, you know, all of the modern, um, you see, it's got the built-in microwave with the uh, with the hood that's included there. Amir, this is such a great value in terms of price. Uh, I now I see what you're talking about when you're talking about that charm uh, cottage style, and then the space, uh, the garage, uh, and it seems like a kind of a quiet, you know, a suburban neighborhood. Why? With the, why are the sellers selling? <laughs> well, she's simply outgrown the, the, the property. I see. Um, and so needs more space. And here's what we find a lot of. And she and talking to her uh, and her family, she kind of discovered that um, as a result of having to work from home. Um, and so wow. decided that she would, if something you know, like this were to happen again, or she just needed additional space, um, so that she could really take advantage of it. So are the sellers willing to um, help with closing costs? And I know that's probably a terrible question to ask in this market where sellers are getting above list price, but right. um, you know, it's, never be afraid to ask, right? <laughs> never be afraid to ask. And I'm just saying to folks, you know what? The, the, the only uh, answer to an unanswered, to an unasked question is no. So it's right. always ask, um, just to see. So we're asking. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, it's okay. a very hot market. All right. So, so your list price right now is two thirty nine, and um, you know homes aren't staying in the market long anywhere. Do you know what the days on market are in that area, and you know how long do you think it'll be before this property will be under contract? Well, I, the average days on market as of, because we're, we're not quite through March yet, but as of uh, March 1st or the end of February, this year was down to 47. Last year in this area was 63 days. So you can see 
you know, that we're down almost 20 days, almost two weeks. And, you know, during the first, you know, three weeks of this year, I'm sh I mean, this month, I'm sure that, you know, properties are starting to fly off the market even, even faster. Well, one thing I'm noticing, Amir, is that um, the days on market, you know, in Bakersfield and, and other rural areas, it's much longer than what's happening, you know, in LA, Orange County, Riverside, you know, uh, the days on market are in the uh, low double digits. In fact, right. in some areas in the single digits. So uh, that means there is opportunity uh, for people to get in because right now a lot of first time buyers are just getting outbidded and, 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 and priced out. And so in Bakersfield, it looks like you have price, you have portability, you have potential even of seller credit. Uh, and man, uh, folks, if you are serious about buying a home and you're working from home, you need to look at Bakersfield. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think you hit all of the, the, the major three things that's frankly driving a market, you know, pricing, uh, affordability, um, and accessibility. And again, you're not very far. Um, they're prob you're probably about 15, maybe 20 minutes or so from you know, a major outlet mall um, that has all of your anchor tenants, all your major stores and things like that. So you know, you're not isolated by any means. Right, right. Any additional pictures you wanna share? Uh, this is a great, um, what do you call this? Uh, tour, <laughs> okay. yeah. virtual tour. You know, this is how virtual tours should be done, right? Where the agent is live talking about it, answering questions, right? This is a real virtual tour. I don't know what these other guys are doing, putting that stuff online and letting the customer figure it out for themselves. <laughs> but exactly. so I appreciate you uh, sharing this virtual tour on our, on our TV show. Uh, anything else about this property you want to show before we get into the numbers? No, you know, I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. It's been uh, great being able to walk you and your viewers through um, this great home. Um, we think that, you know, it'll make somebody a really great home. First time home buyers, small families, um, certainly, you know, single or bachelor, uh, bachelorette uh, folks that, that are just looking for a nice quiet place to call home. Um, you know, and if you're looking to build wealth and equity in this property, then, you know, you've got uh, the zoning is already in place, uh, along with the state mandate for accessory dwelling units. And, um, you know, it could actually really become a real wealth builder. For those of you who are just joining us, we're talking to Amir Lahi, and he has just done a fantastic job and 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 showing the pictures and talking about a great deal in Bakersfield. And I certainly want you to reach out to him if you're interested in making an offer and make an offer, right? Uh, the the only answer to an unanswered question is no. I love that, Amir, I'm gonna borrow that. <laughs> only answer to an, unasked, to an unasked question is no. And so find out what uh, is possible on this great deal in Bakersfield. We're gonna take a quick break and when we come back, we're gonna talk about the numbers. How do we finance this property? In fact, Amir says the city of Bakersfield has down payment assistance. I've got down payment assistance. Hang in there, folks. We'll be right back right after this commercial break. Want to keep up with the current developments happening in the world of real estate? The Real Estate Roundtable, hosted by Eric L. Frazier, is a show you do not want to miss. The show features a panel of VIP agents who are passionate about helping people. It is what they do best. They discuss today's hot topics, latest market updates and trends. The panel also conducts interviews with prominent figures in the industry. New episode every Friday live on Facebook and replay on the Power Is Now YouTube channel. And we're back. For those of you just joining us, welcome to The Power Is Now Real Estate Roundtable. Hey, if you're a real estate professional, you owe a duty to your seller to get as many eyeballs as possible on their property for sale. They're trying to get the highest amount they possibly can, man. Get it out there, our woman. Get the word out about the property. And one way to do it is to do stuff like this. You know, what Amir is doing 
Uh, that's the normal now. This is a new normal because everybody is online. People are working from home online all day. People are getting their information online. They have been ever since Ask Google. People are shopping online. Groceries are being delivered online. Heck, we have hardly a few reasons to leave our home anymore because everything is online. And guess what else is online? The power is now. Online radio, online TV, online magazines. We are the resource for anyone looking to buy or sell real estate. And we've been the resource for 11 years straight running. I am so happy to have professionals like Amir Lahi on our platform. Uh, and sharing their knowledge and expertise. This is a listing show. He's talking about a listing, but you should check out some other stuff. I mean, where our agents talk about what's going on in the marketplace uh, from days on market to average sales price and medium prices, news in the market, opportunities to buy or sell. All of it can be found right here at The Power Is Now and coming from credible, authentic uh, experts who are, have been in the game for years that's where our content, our information comes from. And Amir Lahi is one of those uh, agents who provide that information. He's a VIP agent on The Power Is Now. And Amir, again, thank you for taking time uh, and sharing this great information. I've learned a lot about Bakersfield today. It's really been educational. And, uh, and then to hear the price points are so low. So that's what I want to get into next. And uh, Amir, you won't believe this now. And I think you can appreciate this being, you know, a person, a, a, an agent with the banking experience. But mm -hmm. right now, FHA, right now, the rate is three and a quarter right now for an FHA loan, right? And FHA is the go-to product for most people because it allows for lower FICO scores. It allows for uh, higher debt ratios. I mean, there's just a lot more flexibility. And I, I tell you, if I had a dollar for every person who says they don't think it would qualify um, and I put them into FHA loans, I have a million dollars, right? I would. I mean, uh, you just do not underestimate the power of FHA and its ability to get you into a house, even with some challenges you've had in the past. Now, a standard FHA loan where you're bringing in the money, the down payment, the rate is 3.25%. And on a $239,900, $239,900, that's the list price. We don't know if it's going to go for the list price, but that's the list price. The down payment at 3.5% would be $8,396.50. $8,396.50, right? You know, that's a... Uh, that's a pretty low down payment. With the principal and interest payment is $1,025. Uh, the taxes are $249. Fire insurance is $162.49. That's an, uh, not, not fire insurance, but uh, fire insurance is $69. That's an estimate. It could be lower. And mortgage insurance is $162.49. So the grand total, we're talking about everything. Taxes, insurance, mortgage insurance, and fire insurance is $1,500 and seven dollars and fifty cents. Can you believe that, Amir? <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. And that house could rent for fifteen hundred easily, easily or more, right? Fifteen hundred. Now that's at a rate of three and a quarter APR at four point five eight seven. Now, in addition to being the host of the Powers Now, as you can see, for those of you who are watching us live, I'm a vice president and mortgage advisor for First Bank. My license number is four six one eight zero seven. And the views and opinions, the views and opinions that I express on this show are my own and do not necessarily uh, reflect that of First Bank. But I can tell you, First Bank is absolutely committed to helping people get into homes. I'm living it, I'm doing it here. And one way, if you don't have this eight grand, if you don't have the eight grand, you can pay a slightly higher rate. I'm at a rate right now at 3.875, 3.875. Let's see, 3.8. Seven five. Putting the numbers in the calculator here. Three point eight seven five. Now that's going to increase the payment a little bit. The payment is now going to be fifteen ninety. Wow. <laughs> Not a big increase, right? Fifteen ninety is the payment. Is at a rate of three point eight seven five APR of five point two. But Golden State now is going to give you the down payment. So all you have to worry about is closing costs. 
Golden State is going to give you up to 5% in down payment assistance. And if you have the down payment already, you can use it for the closing costs. And so what a way to get in and enjoy the affordability, the low payment, and not even have to come in with a down payment. I mean, does it get better than that, Amir? You know, in a lot of cases, Eric, it does not. It does not. But there is one particular situation that we've come across in the city of Bakersfield that actually is better than that. So what the city is doing is that they're actually, they actually have a down payment assistance program and they've partnered with the Ventura County Community Development Corporation in order to bring a $23,000 down payment assistance program. And if you combine that with a program with the city, you could actually get up to $58,000 in down payment and closing cost assistance. So while we didn't think that it could actually get better than just having to come in with a smaller amount, um, I've done these programs for years. We talked about kind of experience. And so mm -hmm. I've worked with them. And so what that really does, and Eric, you've got the calculator there, but what it really will do is, let's just say it would take your, your regular, um, you take the 239, which is the purchase price, and you subtract right. 50,000 from that because wow. you're gonna be able to get this assistance. And there are, there are stipulations, you've gotta be, you know, uh, meet the income requirements, but let's, let's just say we don't use it all. You take your money and then you use 50,000 from the city of, of uh, Bakersfield and Ventura County Community Development Corporation and subtract that from the 239. And while Eric's doing that math, I can tell you that there is absolutely no way that you'll be able to rent for less than you'd be able to purchase this home using down payment assistance. I have the numbers. Taking the 58,000, here's another thing too, that Golden State will work with counties and cities. And so Golden State can give you the down payment, the standard three and a half percent, right? Uh, and it's actually a total of 5% because they covered the lender origination fee. So they'll give you that money. And then the county is going to give you $50,000. So that's a total of $58,000. Your payment now is going to be $1,310 a month. Now, does it say on their program, Amir, that, um, that money can be used for closing costs and down payment? Or is it just for the down payment? It can be used for both. Wow. So we're talking mm -hmm. about a no money down deal completely here using Golden State and using the city. And uh, now does that money have to be paid back at the uh, county of uh, Ventura? So the Ventura County product with the first time home buyers program is a soft second and it does not have a payment. It does accumulate a 2% interest mm. uh, per year and okay. it doesn't have to be paid back until you move or turn the property into a rental property or you want to refi and take cash out. And let me tell you how these programs work. I actually did a program very similar to this in the city of Pasadena, mm -hmm. um, where my client actually got $168,000 from the city in 2007. We paid $400,000 for that property uh, in 2007. Today, that property is worth $850,000. And wow. over the years, um, my client has refied the property. She hasn't taken cash out um, and only done the rate and term and her payment is still low. Um, now she may decide to sell it at this point and she'd still walk away with over, you know, almost $300,000 in equity, even if she paid it back. So in the long term, this is still not a bad idea because again, if you're able to, to recognize the equity um, and, and ride out this cycle, uh, then you're still going to build wealth. What a great story. Um, down payment assistance uh, is doing just that, helping people build wealth. How many people back then, Amir, uh, working uh, with down payment assistance that you helped get into homes uh, using down payment assistance? And did you find that many people weren't just aware of it? Well, I worked for a nonprofit in the Los Angeles area 
Um, and one of the things that we did is we actually went to some of the larger churches uh, in the Los Angeles area. Frankly, we'd work with anybody and we frequently heard, I had no idea that this existed. Mm -hmm. And so we always talk about down payment assistance being the best kept secret um, out there. But I have literally helped hundreds of families um, who otherwise would not have 10% you know, down, would not have 20% down, that didn't have the down payment or the closing cost. Um, and so, you know, these are, these are great programs that we're talking about. And in most counties, even today, uh, we're talking about Bakersfield, but in Southern California, if you make less than $150,000 combined annual income, there's assistance for you. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. And uh, I, I love talking about down payment assistance. And I think that's a level, uh, another area of expertise that you bring in working with first time home buyers. Uh, man, this has been a great show. Folks, if you are interested in purchasing uh, this property, you have to reach out to Amir. I mean, you see the payment and the rates are still low. Um, in fact, uh, I mean, they are rising, but they still are low and it's making homeownership uh, a very real possibility for a lot of people, especially first time home buyers. And to be able to get down payment assistance from the Golden State Finance Authority, as well as down payment assistance from the county or city, I mean, that's a lot of money uh, being you know, given to you to help you buy a home. And so, uh, Amir, any final comments or words of encouragement uh, for those who might be interested in buying a home, buying this particular property, um, give them a reason to call you right now. Wow. Well, there, there are all kinds of, of opportunities that are available. Uh, and in this market, you know, people are, are looking for great opportunities. You can call me. Um, my number is 626-625-0099. Uh, I'm an agent that answers the phone. Um, I also do text, but I do answer the phone. Uh, don't mind talking on the phone. My website is amirelahihomes.com. So you can search for properties there. Um, but one of the things that I love to do is be able to help people not only get into home ownership and build wealth, but also to access the down payment assistance programs that are available throughout Southern California. Um, and there are multiple programs uh, that are available um, you know, even, and I'll just say this at the end, but there's a program in Orange County that allows you to make $200,000 and still get assistance. And so why not you? Amen to that. Why not you folks? Reach out to Amir Alahi. He can help you. He can counsel you. He can guide you. If you're looking to sell real estate in Bakersfield or anywhere in Southern California, he's an EXP agent. He's got a network unbelievable across not just California, but in other states as well. And uh, if you're looking to buy locally, uh, Amir's got you covered and he's got the support of the power is now if you're looking to sell. Advertise your property right here on our TV program, on our social media network, on our podcast, which is naturally syndicated. This is a great place to get exposure for real estate for sale and as a real estate professional to get exposure to who you are. And now you've just met an extraordinary real estate agent, Amir Alahi. Thank you again, Amir, uh, for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Eric. It's always a pleasure. Look forward to the very next time. The pleasure is mine. Well, folks, that's a wrap. I want to just share a couple of things with you. Uh, coming up, folks, are some great home buyer seminars. Go to buyhomeseminars.com, buyhomeseminars.com, right? And there you'll find seminars that are lined up, folks, ready for you to join by Zoom and get the information you need. Also, go to thepowersnow.com and listen to other great interviews with top agents like Amir Alahi, who are selling real estate across the country. And of course, these same agents are providing market commentary. Should you sell? Should you buy? What's going to happen in the future? Why not talk to an agent? Someone who's full-time, been in the game, making a living at it for 10, 15, 20, 25 years. That's who's on our platform. 
the VIP agent is for exclusive, it's an exclusive program for elite real estate professionals only. And if you are that agent, you need to reach out to me and we can talk about it. Well, folks, that's a wrap of the Powers Now Real Estate Roundtable. Remember, we are at our best and we maximize our success when we act now. The power is now. Thank you for watching. The Power Is Now Media is worldwide with growing audience of future home buyers, investors, builders, developers, real estate agents, and brokers. The Power Is Now Media is well positioned to increase awareness and produce results for our growing roster of advertising partners. An advertisement on any of our platforms is the right step toward reaching and communicating key brand messages to a targeted network of individuals, families, and communities interested in housing. Our content areas include feature stories and profiles on successful real estate agents, business owners, government, and community leaders. The Power Is Now magazines are the leading resource for real estate agents, mortgage bankers, entrepreneurs, and small home ownership businesses, providing leaders with business strategy information, resources, and tools through PIN, real estate, and programming guide magazines. Stay up to the minute with real estate and mortgage news and information from industry experts. VIP agents are able to feature listings each week. The Power Is Now TV radio podcast features weekly shows that include Homebuyers Town Hall, Real Estate Roundtable, VIP Agent Spotlight, and so much more. Each week, VIP agents have opportunities to be featured guests on the shows. VIP agents can discuss and showcase houses, neighborhoods, and provide brief introductions. The interviews are unlimited 10 to 15 minutes on each current listing. This product alone separates you from your competition. The Power Is Now delivers to you market update interview to promote listing weekly, promotional biographical video, co-host a bi-monthly homebuyers town hall show, featured subject matter expert on real estate roundtable show, The Power Is Now program guide e-magazine, The Power Is Now national e-magazine, article writing and blogging, social media content customization, inclusion and press releases, graphic design services, business and performance coaching, technology support, referrals, lead generation opportunities, and management support.